we're going to Kenya. Yes, we are heading to Kenya and this is my first international flight. I had an all expense paid trip to Nairobi sponsored by YouTube to celebrate the success of the end of the YouTube Black class of 2023, which I was a part of. Travel time from Abuja to Ethiopia was about 5 hours and I flew another 1 hour 30 minutes to Nairobi. So finally I have my room and guys this place is so nice but let me show you guys the room. It is really nice. This is the, it has a toilet here. This is the shower and the room is really nice. It's so beautiful. And see what YouTube left on my bed. Look at all this care package. YouTube can spoil somebody. Oh my god, this is so cute. This jacket is needed because I'm actually feeling cold. And see this. See this. See this. See a whole lot of things that they left for us. And then this bag. Let me see what's even inside the bag. It's so cute. Oh my god. And then it has a bedside table. It's so nice. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to take a hot shower and go to bed. I'm really feeling cold right now and it's 3 a.m. So I need to go talk to you guys in the morning. Bye! Hey guys, it's proper morning here. So we do have like a giraffe thing going on. We're supposed to go to like a giraffe park today. Um, many creators are not yet here and I need to go and get something to eat. So I'm going to see you guys later. We got to the giraffe park and it was literally crowded a few minutes before I took this video. Everyone wanted to feed the giraffe but I just wanted to enjoy nature. We spent about one hour here and we went back to the hotel. The next morning around 5am we were up and ready heading to the safari. And this is my favorite time in Nairobi, the safari. As someone who is not even a morning person, I was somewhat excited about this trip. After about 45 minutes to what seems like forever, we got to Nairobi National Park and I was very, very happy when we were welcomed by the baboons at the gates. They were really pretty. We drove into the safari, we kept in and in. It took a while before we found the first animal, which was this crocodile. At first quiet, but then it began moving we saw a lot of anima i know a couple of people loved this experience but i think i loved it even more than any other person it reminded me of what growing up looked like and not having any responsibility seeing the animal in their natural habitat and not in the zoo like i've always seen them i loved every bit of it and i enjoyed every time of it in fact i couldn't do so much videos like i wanted to because I spent so much time just enjoying the atmosphere rather than picking up my camera and videoing everything that I saw. Some of this clip, as a matter of fact, I got it from my fellow YouTuber. Anyway, I enjoyed my time in the safari and YouTube did something even more fun. They made breakfast in the safari for us. I can't give you guys much of this video because like I said, I was enjoying my time rather than doing videos. It was fun, it was beautiful. It was really nice to experience another culture. We ate, drank, and it was time for us to head back to the hotel. And this is actually this is how it is. So we just got back and you can see everybody's holding their phones up. This is my look here. We're going to see the president of Kenya. We're going to the state house, the white house. I don't know what it's called. But we're going to have to leave my phone and I have to cream my face again because it's dry. All right. So we're heading to dinner. Apparently they have something special for us. So let me show you guys. it was really nice the speech was nice everything was nice but the problem now is that we are having african day tomorrow we're talking about african festival and this is the dress i bought i brought this dress i did not know we were doing anything african and now this dress cannot move tomorrow as it doesn't have anything african in it and i need a dress to wear so what do i do what do I do? I'm tired. I want to go to bed now. 
hi good morning i've gone downstairs for breakfast i am trying to decide what to wear because i don't know i don't have clothes in real life so when i have opportunity when i have opportunity to be like in places that's when i'm like what will i wear and i don't want to buy clothes because well, times are hard see my face and somehow i can't find the cream i'm using again so uh, i'm getting ready anyways to go for the creators day we are going to talk to us tell us how to serve the youtube community better so that's what i'm going to i'm getting dressed right now i'm deciding on what clothes to wear and i have my wardrobe manager here <laughs> my wardrobe manager. <laughs> don't mind me okay let me show you guys what i'll be wearing and i'm trying to decide anyway but let me show you guys this boyfriend jean here i'm thinking of wearing it with this top here or this top here and guys where i got this top and they sell like all these um zara products i think when i go back to lagos i'm going to try to film a vlog and then show you guys where i got because the woman sells like really nice um clothes and they're not very expensive so i'm going to be wearing this one now and then later my wardrobe manager sitting there pretty <laughs> she gave me this ankara i told you guys this today her channel is called Starberry Reme. Please, it's only people abroad that you can check her. Not Nigerian. I'm going with Nigerian. Is that shit? Is that shit? Nigerian. So this is what I'll be wearing. I will show you guys before leaving, anyways. Let me go and get dressed. Up. Finally, I've also ordered for my Ankara. One of my friends is in Kenya, so I thought he would tell me order for the clothes. I'll show you guys when it comes. So this is what I currently look like. Everywhere is scattered right now. Trying to look forward to it. And how do I look? Let me show you guys here. And this is what I look like here. And I think I'm good to go. I just applied wet lip. My skin that is peeling here, I need to apply this um, triple action antifungal cream. And I'll see you guys there. <laughs> can you guys see how i am looking so beautiful i got my makeup done and i also got my nails done it's so cute youtube is spoiling me i want to get dressed now for the event my eye my face is i'm looking different and every time that i do makeup or that i'm looking on that i'm looking flick my accent will change it will leave the nigerian asset and be giving phone phone <laughs> It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Can you guys see my face? Hi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> and this is a dress that I got. It's so beautiful. It's a wrap dress. So it was really easy for it to be my size. If it didn't, all I had to do was just tie it. We got to the event. We ate. We drank. It looked like I'm having fun. Nah, I'm not. But it wasn't so bad being outside anyways. I don't feel like going back home again. I've had the time of my life. And I'm not even going to lie. I know that I'm, I'm going to travel, but I know that it's going to be different when I claim my money because this one is free, like Osho free. And that's why it's, you know, no pressure. You can eat whatever you want. My makeup was done by, for me by a makeup artist. My nails was done for me by a nail tech that they brought. So I didn't spend a dime. Imagine Nigeria to um, Kenya spending five days or like four days rather in in a luxurious hotel and eating whatever you want like the breakfast bread and not spending a dime so i know that when i'm paying my money to be different but even though i am definitely going to travel more like i'm going to travel more I'm, like i was able to think better because i'm not working i'm not pressured i'm not i didn't do nothing so i am definitely going to travel more Makeup shows my age, my real age. When I do makeup, that's the zone I know that I've old. But without makeup, I used to feel like baby girl, small girl, young girl. But anyways, I'm going to take all this off now and have my bath. And maybe I'll start packing my bag. I don't want to go. I don't want to go again. It's so sweet. It's so lovely here. Anyways, bye. See you guys tomorrow. The morning of the final day, I went to the restaurant to get some food. I had some fruits because my belly be getting fat and I'm trying to just keep it slim. I also checked out the pool area. I wanted to swim but somehow I stayed feeling shy and I left there to the studio. We went to shoot a video or they want to shoot a video and I am like the one helping them check the camera and everything. 
And after this, I think I'm okay. I didn't book spa and I really need a spa session. So afterwards, I'll pack my bags and bye bye to Kenya. So let me interview you. Are you gonna come back to Kenya soon? Um, no, I think I would rather want to check other countries I've, I've seen in Kenya, although I've not seen everywhere in so Kenya. What is the next country that you want to go to? I've never been to Ghana, but I know nice. that I want to go to Benin Republic first because Benin Republic is said to be really clean. Okay. The beaches, I had the roads are clean, the beach are clean, and I've seen very nice content from Benin Republic. And you even believe that it's Benin Republic. So I want to go to Benin Republic, I want to go to Ghana, I want to start with like countries around me. And then we have a plan of going to Lebanon. I heard Lebanon is also pretty, so Ghana next. Benin Republic, Ghana next, then Lebanon. But I know that I want to be seeing different cultures, different places, and that's it. Just got back from the studio and we had a creator's, um, like a podcast anyway. I need to start packing. It's about um, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. right now and our flight is by 3 o'clock so I need to pack and make sure I don't forget anything. While packing, it gave me some time to actually reflect on myself. First, I thought about how I have neglected myself for a long time. It made me want simple things like a nicer pillow, like a very comfortable pillow. A nice running shower that has hot and cold water. It also made me understand when people say that travel is not just for relaxation it's also for education i learned the word karibu ashante so yes i am definitely going to be traveling again so it's ready to go and this is my bags over here my bags actually is bigger than how i came because youtube gave us a lot of goodies guys and i just want to say thank god for this beautiful opportunity thank you to thank you my subscribers you guys are the real mvp so let me not talk too much. I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much.